Theranos founder, Elizabeth Holmes, who was convicted of lying to investor, investors and investigators in her blood uh, testing startup, is about to learn her sentence. Prosecutors uh, say she should uh, go away for as long as some of the most uh, notorious corporate criminals of all time. She should go away for just as long. But attorneys for Holmes say she should get no prison time at all. CBC Scott Cohn covered her trial and joins us live from the courthouse in San Jose. Hey, Scott. Hey, Joe. Yeah, no prison time at all, they say, for a billion-dollar fraud. Well, first of all, Holmes' defense attorneys say they disagree with that calculation. And they also say that we in the media and the books and the movies have all turned her into a caricature. That, they say, is unfair. And this, they say, is literally Exhibit A. This is 280 pages of letters from friends and family and associates, uh, 130 letters at all, uh, in all, led off by a letter from her partner, hotel uh, heir Billy Evans, who appears to confirm that the two are expecting their second child. He says her selflessness knows no bounds. There's also a letter from U.S. Senator Cory Booker, who says he still believes in her ability to make the world a better place. The defense team argues Ms. Holmes has become a, a caricature to be mocked and vilified. The court has the opportunity and the obligation here to look beyond the caricature and examine Ms. Holmes, the human being. The government, of course, takes a much different view. Prosecutors say she should get 15 years in prison. That would put her in a league with the likes of Jeff Skillings, Bernie Ebers, Dennis Kozlowski. They say her crimes were brazen. There's no guarantee she wouldn't do it again if she had the chance. And that the court should send a message to Silicon Valley. A significant custodial sentence will serve not only to defer future startup fraud schemes, but it will also serve to rebuild the trust that investors must have when funding innovations. The decision will fall to U.S. District Judge Edward Davila. He's 70 years old, an Obama appointee on the bench since 2011. His rulings in the trial have, uh, in many cases, gone both ways. Some have favored the prosecution, but some important ones have favored Elizabeth Holmes. Most legal experts and uh, expect that she is going to be exposed to some significant prison time just because of the size of the fraud. The probation department has recommended nine years. But one thing we know for sure, guys, Elizabeth Holmes is very likely going to appeal.